You can only imagine how amazing this cocktail experience will be. We're back behind the bar, and this time we're at Campara Le Pen in New Orleans with bar lead and award-winning bartender Erica Flowers. Today, I'm excited to share what I like to call my Caribbean queen, my take on the classic Mai Tai. First things first, we're gonna start with putting a lime peel in our tin. We're gonna add three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, three quarters of an ounce of a coffee spice avocado pit orange juice. For all those nut allergies, this is the perfect addition, as well as a touch of sustainability in this cocktail. A quarter ounce of Cointreau, three quarters of an ounce of our Rum JM VO, and one and a quarter ounce of Hamilton West Indies blend. Not only is this going to be a regal shake, but it's going to be a whip shake. So we're just adding a little bit of pebble ice to our tin, giving it a shake until that ice dilutes and giving it an opportunity to aerate. We'll fill our glass three quarters of the way with our pebble ice and pour that cocktail right over. Lime peel included. Fill the top with a little bit more ice. And then we're gonna take our coffee bean and grate it over our cocktail to get that nice aromatic of coffee. Not only from the freshly grated coffee beans, but the coffee beans itself. No Mai Tai is complete without fresh mint. And we wanna make sure to just stop at the back of our hand to express and to open up those flavors. If you know me, you know I love a cocktail that not only looks good, but smells good. So with incorporating this freshly grated coffee bean on top, as well as the coffee beans, as well as this delicious bouquet of mint, you can only imagine how amazing this cocktail experience will be. I'm excited for you to try this My Caribbean Queen. Would you give this cocktail a try? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to follow Vine Pair for more of the best local cocktails.